Hi guys, welcome back to the Cassie Project. So today I'm going to show you how to turn a boring old jigsaw into something really unique. So I found this jigsaw from a charity shop and it was only £1.50. It's got 50 pieces so it weren't too difficult to do and it's about 31 by 32 centimetres big. So just about the right size to create a place setting or place mat or something like that or something unique to put on your wall so yeah watch me transform this jigsaw into something new here we are opening up the jigsaw it is a monsters university jigsaw and i was quite surprised at how little the amount of pieces there were does that make sense how we do a puzzle so yeah, I got Tom to help me with this tiny puzzle, I know. Um, but yeah, it all came together, even though it was an unchecked puzzle and I was a little concerned that there wouldn't be all of them there. Yeah. As you can see, I'm using my chalk furniture paint to uh, cover the puzzle up so we can't see any monsters ink loveliness coming through i let it dry and then did a second coat i was a little worried that it was all going to stick together but amazingly it did uh, peel apart i didn't let it dry for like a ridiculous amount of time just so it was touch dry and then the little pieces just popped out and it was really quite satisfying to do so um yeah i separate all the puzzle and i make sure i keep all the puzzle pieces in the same place because I would never be able to get this puzzle back together again otherwise. So here we go, we have a blank canvas. Why I have um, music going on in my brain 24-7 I do not know. So at first I wanted to do kind of like mindfulness colouring looking pieces. I'm going to stop the video right there because I don't like it. I'm not happy with it. Um, it's just, it's just not good. So I'm gonna um, <laughs> paint over it and start again. So that is exactly what I did. As you can see, I did two rows, uh, which took me a fair few hours, and I just, I just wasn't happy with it at all. Uh, it just looks like a kid's done it. So I get out my trusty little sander. I know I use my sander for everything, but I'm really lazy and I can't be asked to use sanding paper. How cool does that look? Just to leave it like that. Tempted, but... But no. But no, I'm not going to leave it like that. I'm going to go back to the beginning and start all again. So I've wasted a fair few hours. I do this on several of my videos and you'd think that, you know, in, what, 13 minutes or so, uh, it wouldn't take long, but this is a whole week's worth of work, so please appreciate. Okay, we are now going to do a background. Because I think the white pieces made it look a little bit, I don't know, childish and boring. So I'm using these little makeup sponges, and I'm going with... I decided an autumn theme because I like those colours and yeah I just dabbed it and did like little ombre style effect for each one um, and yeah I was already much happier with it and then I downloaded about a thousand images of autumn patterns and pretty things and using my gorgeous little miniature brush like this is miniature it's a zero 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 which is ridiculous basically and i'm gonna paint on these little designs onto each piece it's got this light nice autumn running theme through it this time and yeah i was just i was feeling much happier about it and the first piece i was pleased with so i carried on and i uh carried on and uh continued to make more and more pieces and I think that they look really cool. One 
thing that I was really pleased with doing was um, using lots of different styles to do each jigsaw. So, I mean, I, I often put off doing colour because colour scares me. I often don't do people because people scare me, painting them and in general life. <laughs> and um, yeah, I, it just, it, it made me go for it. And because it was such a small little canvas, I'm used to doing that, especially with my nail art. And I really enjoyed it. I even did animals, look, I did a little hedgehog. And yeah, it, I, I just felt like I was practicing a lot of different techniques and just going for it really. So yeah, I quite enjoyed doing this. It took a lot of time, a lot of patience, but yeah, it's pretty awesome. So as you can see with this one, um, I have used my acrylic paint pens in some areas um, because they're just such small pieces, it's hard to get that fine detail. So they were quite handy to get that base down on a lot of things um, and add some details, but I used mainly my miniature paint brushes. But then I also used my white acrylic paint pen to go around the edges of each uh, jigsaw piece, which I, I think is really effective when you see the whole puzzle together. So I was really pleased with that. Okay, so moving on to making the puzzle into a complete puzzle instead of just lots of pieces. I used some of my pretty paper in my pretty paper book of pretty papers. And um, <laughs> I used the uh, bird one to stick it to the back of the puzzle just to neem it up and make sure that it all stuck together basically. So amazingly, this uh, paper pad set w I don't know why I can't think of a name for it um, it, it was the right width which <laughs> I was very very pleased with so I just needed to trim off the edge and as you can see I'm being very precise usually I don't do this and things get messed up um, and that's why they get mixed and that's why they get messed up because I just don't do things properly. I, I rush, I'm impulsive, I'm annoying. So I'm, I'm trying to learn to be a perfectionist, take my time, measure things out properly. And um, 
yeah, this really helped with this puzzle actually. So I'm using PVA glue to stick this paper to the back and then I'm going to press it all down using my ruler to make sure it is nice and smooth. Dun, 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 dun. So here you have it, this is my beautiful puzzle. I wish, I wish I left it there because I think it looks really good. Um, but then I decided to put glitter on it because you know me, I love glitter and I thought that this would add to it. Usually glitter makes everything a thousand times better. But in this case, it, I don't know, it, I can't think of the word, what's the word? It, it stops the other things standing out as much, like it took away from the, the pretty pictures that I painted, which was a little bit gutting. Um, so I'm in a little bit of regret here, but I've done it and there's nothing I can do. So get over it because the glitter's there now. Um, yeah. <laughs> so what I did to make myself feel better was instead of having this shiny layer over the top, which I used the PVA glue, which has a shiny residue, I um, used Mod Podge and that is a matte effect uh, PVA glue thing. Um, I've put a two layers of that on top and it's made all the difference. I actually really like it now. It just uh, flattened out the, gl the glitter, the glitter a little bit, um, stopped it looking so in your face. And now I think it's come together really nicely. It's a little centerpiece for my table. Um, and yeah, I can look at it every day and enjoy and be proud of all the hours that it took <laughs> to do this lovely little jigsaw. Anyway, I'm going to go. Thanks so much for watching and please like, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.